Good morning. Please do say hello or give me, give me a like or whatever. Just let me know I'm not on my own. Um, for the last of this term's draw alongs, where we are rounding up mythical creature theme. Um, yeah, if anyone is watching live, give us a give us a shout out so we know that we're not on our own. Um, if you're watching this retrospectively, you can do the same. Um, Michael's with me again today, and we are rounding up this term topic by designing our own mythical creature, which is kind of cool, but also kind of. Um, intimidating because it's going to be another new challenge for us this has been a really challenging term anyway um but i i think we are leveling up this week with our own choice now if you saw my reference images you can see the animals that i'm working with but there was no rule for you to follow my images you can bring your own so if you haven't done that and you want to find some images quickly you've got time to do that um hello to mel hi from pie hi emily Frey and jill as well so i know we're working all right that's good um yeah i have gone with a cheetah a wolf and an eagle so the reference pictures these are what i'm using um but if you want to find any animals at all that you want to create your mythical creature from there's no rules on this um i would just do a quick google search maybe on a phone or a tablet and just have them to hand because today is just us getting together and drawing together based on whatever images we want to use to make our own mythical creature and it could be a good guy it could be a bad guy uh, i'm not even sure what mine is going to be yet um i think it would be determined by how he looks once i'm finished um hi from ellie as well so yes to pi you need reference pictures if you haven't got them or you're not sure which ones to use you can just copy along with mine um so Michael, you've got your own reference pictures as well, haven't you? What are you what are you using, Michael? So I'm using border collie, uh, wings, um, scorpion, tiger, and a red panda. <laughs> so if you've caught all that, but five animals you're working from? Yeah. Like you're challenging yourself big time there, Michael. Two border collies are. Uh, <laughs> this will be interesting. So I've gone with three. You can do this with as little as two animals. So what I've done is I'm going to mostly mix mine between a wolf and a cheetah, but I'm going to have the features, some features of an eagle. So you can see I've just rather than got a picture of a whole eagle, I've just focused on the details that I want. So I chose a cheetah because it's my favourite animal, my favourite um, creature. So I'm going to start with, and my, my thinking behind this, this wasn't just random, so my thinking was I wanted the speed of a cheetah. So he's going to have the back legs and the tail for balance to give him the speed of the cheetah. Uh, he's going to have the hearing and sense of smell and the brain of a wolf. So obviously I'm going to use the head largely. And then he's going to have eagle talons to help him grab things at the front and eagle eyes because there's a saying, isn't there? Being very eagle eyed. I What I take from that is they've got really good eyesight. So I'm trying to make like a super, super beast by combining those traits from these animals. Which is easier said than done, but let's give it a go. So I'm going to start with my reference picture of my cheetah to try and get in the main bulk of the body. Now, what I noticed about the cheetah is that the hind legs and the image, the back, the, the hind legs are very, very high. So the back of the cheetah is like almost in line with his head, whereas most animals, they're straighter back than that. So I'm assuming that's kind of one of the things that help, help him to be fast. So I'm going to make sure that that's something I depict in my sketch. So once again, I'm going to spend a bit of time making sure the sketch is right. So pick one of your animals to start with as a, as a good starting point for the body shape to begin with. And that's what how I'm starting. And then we can just spend some time refining it, making sure we're happy with it before we put details on. So I'm going to start with the, like I say, the back end of my beast, mythical creature. And that is the cheetah. So what have we got? Emily's doing a horse and a dolphin. Oh, that should be interesting. Hi, Steph and Serena. I'm sure I've said that wrong. I'm terrible. A deer, a butterfly and a frog. Oh, wow. I love I love how varied these are going to be. And I'm really looking forward to um, writing some feedback later if you put them on the share post because I think they'll look so... There's not going to be two that look any anything alike today, are there? I'm just sketching in some long, slender legs for this cheetah. Dropping down his back. 
So I might adjust this as I combine the wolf element. So the wolf's going to come in at the front and then the eagle talons as well. So that's a rough start. That's not bad. So I'm going to flick to my wolf picture, try and get his head in. Now it's going to be slightly awkward because the angle's not quite right compared to the cheetah picture. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, I'm going to move my page up so you can actually see what I'm doing. Phrase in a badger, lion, snake, and a raven. There's a certain book connection here. Oh, yeah. Harry Potter. Love it. I'm just sketching in the main details to begin with. So the eyes, although they are, I'm using the wolf image at the moment, the actual details, when I come to that point, it's going to be, they're going to be eagle eyes. Wolfy ears. And what I might do as well is somehow try and merge the pattern of the cheetah with the coloration of the wolf so that I don't get that sort of, like I did with some of the earlier ones this term, where it just looks like I've cut two pictures and stuck them together. I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look more natural. So I might try and find a way of doing that. So I'm going to use the reference picture of the wolf to get the first part of the legs in, but then the end of them will turn into talons. I'm using this to show the sort of stance and the way the creature is walking. Now I'm going to add in the talons. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> I need to make sure I've left room for them. I think I'm going to have to adjust quite a bit from my reference image what the talons would look like. I'm doing a wolf, a shark, and an eagle. Nice. Mine's a fawn, butterfly, and a frog. I love this. A cat and a fish. Pip, what's your house? I'm a Ravenclaw and Slytherin. I think I'm Ravenclaw, I believe. I'm Hufflepuff. You're Hufflepuff. Michael's Hufflepuff. Hmm. These talons are tricky. So we're going to have one coming out the back. Might need to find another reference picture because this is difficult. <laughs> I've made his leg too short. <laughs> Looks all stumpy. What I'm going to do, I'm, I'm using my reference picture too much at this point. I think I'm going to draw in the shape that I think the claws should be, and then use the reference picture to sort of get the details right. This is definitely trickier than I thought it was going to be. Tell when I'm really concentrate because I stopped chatting. No, no. <laughs> tell this is taking all of my concentration. Uh, 
How's everyone else getting on with the details? How you doing, Michael? Horrible. <laughs> well, that's not the answer we wanted. Yeah, it is tough. I'm regretting using the eagle now. I suppose the beauty is we can just change it. <laughs> I could say, do you know what? I decided it's just going to be two animals. It's going to be a wolf and a cheetah <laughs> because I don't like the eagle. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm going to keep going with it. It's good to challenge ourselves. Yeah, not quite how I imagined it in my head, but I'm persisting with it anyway. I'll get those details in a bit better. So let me just look at the page. Okay, I think the proportions are all right, apart from the dodgy claws, but <laughs> we can work with that. So now I can sort of go back and concentrate on putting a little bit more detail in before I then start adding colour to my page. Let's go to the head of the... Well, I keep calling it a wolf. It's not really a wolf, is it? I did think about this. I started playing around with what this could be called by combining the names, and I've got three options so far. And they are ta, ta e golf So it's the end of the cheetah, ta e golf or a chi golf or a wool gar. I think tea golf is the one that sounds more like a word than the other two. So I think this is what it's going to be. I'm going to go to my, back to my reference picture of my eagle to get the eagle eyes in as well. These are much more round than a wolf size. It's a completely different shape and I'm going to make them quite big. Oh, that's changed the whole dynamics of the picture, hasn't it? And I'm going to get back to my reference image of the cheetah. I'm going to start putting some markings in as well. He's got, he's got like bands on his towel. And then they sort of develop into spots. They're not like a jaguar spots. These are much more just spots. And you can see his claws as well coming from his paws. And small spots lower down in his legs and they get bigger. And I don't have to copy this exactly because obviously it's not a cheetah. I'm just using it as a reference point.
I get Martin Michael. I can hear you fr frantically rubbing out. <laughs> it's a tricky one, isn't it? Okay, I think so that I've got time to get it finished, I'm going to have to jump to colour, but you don't have to catch up with me because you all the time. I might make his fur shaggier like a wolf's as well, rather than the cheetah. Yeah, that's a nice way of combining the animals. So the different features don't have to stop and start in certain places. You can carry them through. I'm going to give him some shaggy feathers on the back of his legs and down here as well so i think i'm going to jump into color I don't think that's a bad outline i can correct some details as i go along how's everyone else doing so i'm going to start with the eye which i found to be like a quite a cool blue color I'm going to use and again at this point although we're using these images as reference to give us realism you can change things if you want to change the colors then there's no rules because we're making this creature up it's whatever you want it to look like And I'm going to do things a bit differently today. I'm going to try and get rid of the... I'm going to, normally I leave the worst bits till last. So I'm going to try to do the other way around. I'm going to try and get the claws out of the way. Because bleh, don't, <laughs> that's not my favourite part of the picture so far. So I'm going to do his nose and then I'm going to move to his claws, I think. We're doing good. Well done. That's what we want to hear. I'm doing better. Good. So if we just keep at it. And our pictures definitely go through an ugly phase, I think. There's a point where it's like, oh my goodness. And then it's if you keep at it, it comes together. A bit like when I do my makeup in the morning. So let's spray these claws, shall we? Get them out of the way. I'm starting by putting a bit of base colour down. With some of my messy pencil marks. Nope, pencil so sharp it snapped. He might have seen already, but we've already got next terms draw alongs up on the, on the Facebook group where we are focusing on marine animals. 
So I've tried to find some really nice reference images. I think I'm most looking forward to doing the wow one, big um, humpback wow. I just really liked the reference image. Sort of seahorse in there, crab, uh, dolphin, octopus, it's quite a variety. New challenges. But that's what they're all about, isn't it? Now I've picked up a dark blue because I'm, when I looked at my reference picture of the claws, the actual claws have got look a bluey colour tint in them, so I'm gonna use that. I just realised Go on. Um No, not really. I quite like my wings. Yeah? You're it's happy with them? It's better. Get in there. And plus it looks like it's about to take off because the claws Do you wanna show me? Yeah. This is Michael so far. So we got what well, we got? Scorpion tail. That's pretty cool. Tiger body. Mm -hmm. Red panda face. Mm -hmm. Wings of. Uh, wings of a carrot, I think. And what else is in there? Uh, and border collie legs. The legs of border collie. So you can do that with the colour. Yeah, and the eyes are going to border collie. Nice. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing mine realistic. Well, there's no rules. Do it however you want. Oh, one is like, oh, like an pixel on colour. Like an Arctic fox. Like an Arctic like an My one? Like a bit into an Arctic box. Do you think? Like a wolf. Well, when I've used the colour because at the moment it's white, so yeah. but as I add colours on. Joe's looking forward to the marine animals. Yeah, I am. Before cheetahs, my favourite animal was dolphins, and I used to draw them when I was a teenager all the time. Why do you like cheetahs? Um, I like cheetahs because I feel like they're like the underdog of the big cat world. Mm. They're they're picked on a lot by lions. They're not, you know, they've got a different skill set to most of the big cats. They rely on their speed more than anything else. Yeah. And I just like that they they don't have it as easy. Not that any of them have it easy, but, you know, I just I feel for them. And I like the way they call as well. Oh, that's something I'm going to add in. Now that you've said it, the other thing I like is their markings on their face that looks like they've got, like, tears. So if you're looking at a picture of a jaguar, leopard or cheetah and you're not sure if it's a cheetah, if it's got these stripes running down from their eyes, it's a cheetah. I'm going to add that into my picture as well. Why do you like red pandas, Michael? Because, because they're endangered and they get shamed, like killed for the fur and stuff. So again, you, you feel for them? Yeah, and plus... They're really fluffy and cute. They're just so fluffy. Yeah. And their face and the markings and stuff, how they're perfectly like shaped and stuff. That's quite cool. Yeah. Right. The talons are out of the way now, so they I don't have to stress about doing them now. Not not great, not the best talons I've drawn, but they're done. So I'm going to jump back to the face. Now that I've yeah. said about this, bless you, the markings, I'm going to make sure I get them in. And then let's go to the wolf then and start putting some colour down. So this is a grey wolf, I think, or timber wolf. Not 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 and so he's got more sort of brindley colours in him. Um what 
Color do I want? This actually looks quite cute. Is that what you're going for? Yeah, because the tongue is sticking out too. Nice. Darker brown. I don't think I've got one out. So what's quite nice about doing this is the freedom of changing it, you know. I'm not feeling like I'm changed to the reference image. I can just keep changing colours or adjusting things slightly just to suit what I, what I prefer. I think I'm going to try and work these same colours through the body as well rather than using trying to recreate cheetah colours. I think it'll look more like it's a single animal then rather than lots thrown together. I probably still have black spots though. I thought yours was going to be like a bad guy. I don't know. I thought when I started, I thought he was going to be a bad guy, but now I think he's quite cute. So, so does mine. <laughs> Apart from the talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> I just realised something. Mm -hmm. You know how I was like doing border collie legs? Mm hmm. I just realised because all the colours left are like normally like black and white, and I've already put black in it, mm. so I don't have to do all that work again. But you can get all the colours left in like gold sometimes, and you get a bit of gold in there. Yeah, you can change yeah. colours. Yeah, I'm gonna check that. Do you mean like a tan colour? Yeah. Thank you. 
and create bands of color like I've got in the reference image here. My one is mostly in black. Is it? Yeah. You can change that, eh? Yeah. Trying to pick them sort of shaggy wolf there as well. The wings are going to be tricky. The wings always are. That's why I didn't. I, I, I thought about putting wings I've on mine. Got, I went, nah. <laughs> I've drawn them, but I've just got to colour them. Okay. Yeah, it's getting that symmetry right and yeah. quite time consuming, aren't they, wings? And I did think about butterfly wings. Mm -hmm. but again, getting all that pattern, and I thought yeah. I won't have time because I'm always too slow. <laughs> Monday. It's always Monday when we do this. Oh, start of the week. Oh. Already done some maths this morning. Yep. Cleared that off. Get that out of the way. Yep. Done the art lesson. So still getting that art lesson. I've done it. Right. Doing this going tricky. <sighs> what do I do up here? I think I'll go darker. We're doing time. Oh my goodness, this one's gone really quickly. Twenty-five to two. Oh my god. I think I'll be all right. Time wise. I'm going to make the fur longer on the towel as well, like a wolf towel. Is there? Yeah. That'd be nice. good idea to use different colors if you're drawing fur. Mm. You don't have to put them all in the same place. But it's good to show that variation of color. And pattern. Finish my line work. Oh good, well done. No, it's good thing, Serena. Serena? Serena? Sorry, I'm saying it wrong and I am. Um, if I had more time, I would definitely spend more time doing this. And that, uh, something that a lot of people struggle with is spending too 
but it's boned in long enough on a picture. I, I have a habit of rushing them sometimes. As you can see, by the way, by the way, I'm shading. Um, if you're taking your time, that's good. You don't have to finish just when I finish. The post doesn't go up till six o'clock and you can post your picture till 9 p.m. tonight. So you've got plenty of time to get that in if you want some feedback. I think what I might do is actually put the base, like use my watercolour to get the, the base fur down and then afterwards go back and add the spots. Just slightly different to the way I normally do it. So I'm going to make a start on the watercolour now so that I've got enough time, although now I'm looking at it, it's very dark up this side and not this side, so I need to level that out a bit. I'll kind of change the wind a bit. You're adapting it as you go, Michael. Mm -hmm. Nearly done. <laughs> That's a bit better, it's leveled it out a bit more, isn't it? I went way too far into the yellow. Mel says thank you. Is that because you already finished? See what I mean? I can't keep. I cannot keep up these guys. So I'm going to do my fine details first. The nose, the eyes, ears, those talons, my favourite. And then I'm done. Wait, no, I'm not done. If you're using the watercolour, just remember, don't overload your paintbrush with the water too much. Makes it much harder to control the movement of the colour this week if you do that. Yeah, done. You're done already, Michael? Yep. Yeah. You're done? Let's close in. I'm quite, I'm, I quite like it. You're pleased with it? Yeah. Good. I don't like the face though. Too red. Yeah, I'm really regretting my talons. I really wish I'd just kept them as paws. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but Nasty. next time I know what not to do. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't like the face because there's too much red in it. Have you changed it? Yeah. Just a reminder for our learners that we've got our end of term awards this Friday. Uh, two o'clock, I think. I think, possibly. 
And if you enter the Twinkle design competition, I'll be announcing the winners of that at the end as well. I'm going to do the fur now so I can give it a chance to dry before I put the black spots on. I'm using a thicker paintbrush now. Quite chubby, my one. <laughs> so what I like about watercolour pencils is that you can work on them like I am now with water, allow it to dry and then add more details on top and just keep layering it up and it helps you add a bit more depth to the picture. Thanks Joe. yes it is Friday at 2pm for our end of term awards. And if you didn't know already, we've already got bookings open for our creative craft courses next for September start. Um, we've already got people booking on, which is good. You don't don't know when have to pay anything yet. It's just to secure a space, and so we know how many people um, are going to be in our groups. And we've also got the first photography course running this year, and that's running as a pilot scheme. Which, if you were with us with our with our early days when we first started out, we used to do this where the first group that try a course did it at a much reduced rate because um, we ask for your feedback from the course as we go through it. So that's only going to be, well, it's 25% discount on the total cost, £15 a month for a level one qualification in photography. And you don't need a digital camera as long as you can take photos of something digital like a smartphone or a tablet, you can get a qualification in photography. I'm doing it. Michael's doing it, you can't wait, can you? Miss it actually to the register, actually. I haven't done that. I haven't actually booked you on. I best do that. <laughs> Bad if you didn't get a spot, wouldn't it? Mm. Should I take a photo of Oh, that's what I'm Winning. How's everyone doing with their drawing so far? One day we'll get Joe to join in one of these draw alongs. I don't think it'll be any day soon, but one day. Ooh. Joe's really looking forward to the photography course. Yep. There's a little closed photography group for people that are interested in finding out more. We've got a little information pack in there and there's going to be more information going up in a couple of weeks. We're going to start our open day soon as well. So for each of our courses and subjects, we'll do a little open day so we can sort of show you exactly what it is we do in the course, how it all works. So that's for the cookery, the cake decorating, mixed media, which if anyone's doing this with us on the draw as long as you'd like them probably Enjoy the mixed media course. Very art based. Now, this is old textiles. And now, photography. Freya wants to do the photography. I just think with photography, it's nice because you get instant results. I mean, it's good to be doing sustained things like this where we spend time on it. But sometimes it's quite satisfying. You just click a button and go, wow, what an awesome picture. <laughs> Put that up on my wall. But you, so is it like a thing where you just like take pictures of stuff that it says? Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be teaching you all the principles of photography. So it'll be teaching you how to use the camera effectively, how to use light effectively and things like that, how to set up a photo. Mm -hmm. So Because there's lots of different things you can take photos of. You, can, you could be taking photos. If you were looking at becoming a photographer as a job, 
you might take photos of food for food companies to advertise their food. So you know how to, you need to learn all the tricks of the trade for that. And, or you might be want to be a wedding photographer and, and photograph people's weddings or events. There's loads of different job opportunities within photography. So there's loads of different ways and things to learn about. So this course will teach you the principles and then it will set you tasks for you to then go and explore and, and do yourself. And then you'll be building up a, a portfolio of your own images. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Wait, so does it, wait, could, so do you choose the project or what you want to do? Largely, yeah. So you'll be set like a design brief. So you'll be set something like a theme or a topic. and the, But then what you what you explore from that is up to you. So you get a lot of freedom with them. So you could, the theme could be maybe like animals. Yes, that's right. Joanne, I'm done. Thank you. Awesome. Don't forget to upload your picture, not to this post or the adverts. It has to be on the post, just so that I can find it, um, that Joe will put on this evening. And it'll be a, a photo of my finished image. So you just put your picture as a comment on there, and then I can find it easily. Just do it, make sure you do it before 9 p.m., and then I can give you some written feedback. If you want it, you don't have to. But um, just as a, I'm a qualified DT and art teacher, so quite handy for people if you want to evidence formal learning or progression just something i offer for free and plus, plus i quite enjoy seeing everyone's artwork phrase on the second picture <laughs> was that using different animals or the same animals but in a different way or completely different i like that phrase done that though good use of time Michael doesn't do that. He's just sitting there looking out the window. Now we're going with my markings. Raised on something completely different. That's awesome. I cannot do that in that time. Right, start with a See how you can add the pencil one after the paint has dried. It's really handy for going in and adding in extra details. Serena's doing well. Good to hear. Jo says, how's everyone's image going? I'm really intrigued by the combinations of animals you'll go. And that is fascinating, isn't it? You're going to have like a whole menagerie of mythical beasts. Do you want to know what my name is? Name? You've come up with a name. Go on, Michael. It's called Scorp 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 Panda. Scorp Panda. That's yeah. cool. It's a scorpion panda. There is a tiger and a parrot in there, and a border collie, but I can, I don't think I can It'd be a very long that. name if you try to yeah. <laughs> combine all of them, wouldn't it? Because the panda and the are like the main bits, kind of, or the tiger and the wings. Like kind of every animal has a tail and head. Is yours a good guy or a bad guy? Mm. I mean, it's got a lot of bruises and stuff, but it's like border collies. They can't get ferocious, but they do like any. Well, they could be. Yeah. Any dog could be technically. Yeah, but like. Butterfawn. That's a cool name. 
Oh, I like that. So yeah, butterfly and the fawn. Oh, I'm quite looking forward to see that. Is it a woodland creature then? Does it live? Oh, that's something you could think about, isn't it? Where do they live? You could create a little backstory for these. This could become a big learning thing for the week, actually. Create a backstory for your creature and then describe where it lives. Who does it associate with? Has it got friends or does it, is it alone? I think that's a good point. You could write a whole story based on your creature. That's the sort of thing you like doing, Michael, isn't it? Create writing. Yeah. I don't know what was easier though. Typewriter. Like type um a laptop or the typewriters. Oh, laptop's definitely easier to write than a typewriter. Oh yeah, yeah, because the typewriter is you'd get something wrong and then you couldn't delete it. Yeah, and you have to so press a lot harder on the buttons of the typewriter. Hmm? It lives in a mystical mushroom forest. See, I can see the beginnings of a story here, and you've just made a main main character for it. When you upload tonight, if you want to give a little, make give us a name and then a little paragraph or a sentence explaining the backstory of your creature, that'd be cool. Just just because I like reading about it. <laughs> you don't have to. What am I doing for time? Eight minutes. Looks like I can't add detail this time. No, I'm doing it. Putting the spots yeah, down. No, I'm not going for as many spots as what you get on a cheetah, though, because I really will be all day. Mm -hmm. Quite cool. Thanks. I still think the, the head either looks like an Arctic box or like a baby um, wolf. Oh, do you think? It's quite mm. cute. It's, I think it's because I changed their eyes to eagle eyes so they're bigger and rounder. And we said about this, didn't we? So baby animals will have big, what appears to be bigger eyes because you're basically born with the same size eyes as what you grow into. So on a baby, they always look bigger and that's what looks cute. I think because I made him have big eagle eyes. Does he have a mum? Does he have a dad? Yeah. Did he hatch from an egg like an eagle or was he born live like a cheetah or a wolf cub? Even those little details, that's quite cool, isn't it? I yeah. quite like the idea of it hatching from an egg. I think mine, I think, I, I don't think I would do it from an egg or live. I think I'd do it from an egg. It just sounds, it started off with like a red panda and then it, like combined all the other animals. Magically formed. Yeah. Instead of So it's a one of a kind. Yeah. So just fancy tiger walking along and think, oh, I could this, wouldn't it? <laughs> just absorbed it. Just, yeah, <laughs> take this. Wonder where the head would go there for the tiger. Because you're using a red panda's head. It's a bit dark. Wait, does water call you run really fast? Yeah. That's one of my powers then. One Speed would be a power. A cheetah would probably have been there. Yeah, a cheetah's the fastest land animal. Yeah. What's a fastest land animal? Then? Some kind of, I want to say something like a peregrine falcon or something yeah. is the fastest land animal, but that's something to Google. You could do it now. Mm. I'll be so impressed with myself if I've got that right. Is a peregrine falcon the fastest? I think it would be the fastest animal, full stop. Okay, I'm just going to put... Um, I'm just going to I'm finished. Thank you so much. No worries. So we're not going to be back now till the start of June because we've got another bank holiday. We're offline 
next week as well. Um, so our new term starts, I think it's, I want to say the 3rd of June, but I've probably got that date wrong. It's a Monday again, same time again. But the, the event links are already up on the main page. You just make sure you join them and then you get, you'll get the reminders as they come up. Um, and we're starting with a seahorse is our next one. Well, that should be easy then. None of it will ever be easy, Michael. <laughs> I think I'm nearly done as well. But don't forget to sign your picture. I've done that. <laughs> Put your signature on it. Claim it as yours. Mine now. I think I'm done. My, what did we go with? Wally, no, Chi Golf. He's a Chi Golf. It's like it sounded like, like golf. Yeah. Yeah. I might, might be able to think of a better name than that. Yeah. Where's the pencil so I can sign it? There we go. Pip. All done. Can we see Michael's? Bye. I need to ask him. So yeah. Oh, you use some pens. As, so we, Michael likes to mix his media. So he's got some gold and purple metallic pens and the wings. Score Panda. I actually like your face. You've got some orange in there as well as the red, haven't you? That's cool. I think my favourite bit though is probably the wings. Yeah, I like the wings, the details of them. They're cool. Well done, Michael. Score Panda and the... I keep forgetting the name. Cheese off. I need to write it on there, don't I? Because I keep forgetting. Cheese off. Lost my pencil again. Cheese. I'll, I spell it. Chi as an eagle. A cheese off. There you go. Well, that is so cool. Well done, Michael. You did good today and um, that's it so i won't see you now for a couple of weeks well unless you join us on the live just come say come by say hello see what other people have been doing on their courses and um, see what goodies and prizes we're giving out but yes thanks for joining us we'll see you in a few weeks when we do the seahorse well done michael that's very good you love that don't you we like the tower michaels yeah i think the scorpion tower is very cool as a cool idea I was, I was just thinking of just sort of standard land animals i didn't think of insects that's a good idea so um yeah don't forget to upload your picture between 6 and 9 p.m tonight for some written feedback um and until next time see you later bye, bye.